am I the only one who thinks that maybe the Salili Bembry hype is coming to a screeching halt? Didn't I say this in the previous pod? That I was a bit dubious about people sucking him up a bit when it comes to designing and shit, especially when it comes to shoes. Whenever he's get the opportunity to design a shoe from the ground up, I felt like it's always been a bit shaky. When he's doing colorways, yeah, he's fucking a genius. But I feel like when he's doing shoes from the ground up, he doesn't have the best track record. And I feel like this early leak of the Salili Bembry Crocs Pollux Juniper is definitely an indication that maybe the fall off is soon coming because these look fucking hideous. This is courtesy of Hypebeast. It says a closer look at a Salili Bembry and Crocs Pollux Juniper. And yeah, I don't know what to say about the shoe. It's basically got some sort of pink upper um, with a clear sole. Um, the sole kind of obviously matches that kind of fingerprint design thing that he has on the Crocs. And it obviously looks more like a trainer than the Croc itself with obviously laces, with like a conventional tongue. And the outsole kind of covers the entirety of the it kind of you know leaks all over the top of the upper it's almost like molten lava like gooey type of thing but just the design of them overall they look kind of hideous can you imagine looking down on these shoes when you're wearing them from the from the like imagine looking down at your feet when you're wearing them with all this bulbous shit all around it and shit all this unnecessary plastic and rubber everywhere they look absolutely hideous and like i've said i think Salili Bembry is a genius when it comes to colorways Salili Bembry is, is a genius when it comes to colorways, but when it comes to designing shoes, I don't think he's the greatest. I really don't. I think maybe it's a bit overrated because I think of these. Remember these Versace shoes that he designed, and um, when he was at the Versace, the Versace chain reactions. I always felt like these were the, um, these were the shoe version of Wild Wild Force. Remember that tune with fucking DJ Khaled and Rihanna and Bryson Tiller, I think it was, that came and went. It was like a big tune at one moment and it fucking died within a week. I think the same thing happened with the Versace chain reactions. They dropped, everybody loved them, um, but they they didn't really last that long. They didn't really hold, you know, it, they're not the triple S's. Balenciaga triple S's, you still see kids wearing them nowadays, but you don't, you don't, you hardly see anybody wearing the Versace chain reactions. Maybe some Middle Eastern people somewhere, but in the clubs, right? The trap stars and the Asian people at fucking international universities, I don't ever see them wearing um, the fucking um, chain reactions. But as I can tell you here, look at these new balances that Sally Bembry did. When it comes to designing colorways, I think there's nobody better. But when it comes to designing a shoe from the ground up, I think Sally Bembry might be a bit overrated and this might be the fall off maybe he is i'm not gonna lie i like the guy he seems a cool dude the color of the shoes he does again like i said maybe the colorways are fucking awesome but when he's designing shoes from the ground up here's another one the shoe he did with anta again not really that impressed versace shoe not that great but when it comes to colorways he's a fucking genius but when it comes to designing the shoe from the ground up not for me not for me in the slightest and this might represent the fall off of Sally Bembry. maybe this was his magnum opus that actual croc that he did, right? That that croc trainer, whatever it's called, that might be his magnus opus. Maybe that was as good as it probably got because this juniper shoe, this Pollock juniper is looking fucking horrendous. It really is. I'm not going to lie. Um, the text courtesy of Hypebee says, after two teaser images were shared in 2023, Salili Bembry has shared, has shared, what he shared here, um, which was revealed at Pollock Juniper, building upon the sculpted sole unit. The again features a fingerprint motif. The upper features ample perforations across the toe. In addition to this, the, the upper utilizes a texturized finish. Release remains unanticipated unantic for the coming months via Crocs. So stay tuned for updates. But yeah, I'm not staying tuned for updates. They look fucking terrible. They look fucking, fucking That's it. They look shit. They look awful. They look bad. I don't like them. I don't like them. Like them. Like them. Like them. Okay. I don't. I hate them. I despise them. They're the worst you've ever seen in the world.